Whenever you see online business, you only see the tip of an iceberg, but what happens behind the scene, from where they are earning their main profit, this book is going to show you that. I'm going to give you a step-by-step chapter-by-chapter explanation of this book, so I'm going to divide this series into four parts. If you are interested in learning more about the funnels, make sure you subscribe to the channel, so I can make more videos for you. In the dot-com secrets, we will learn how to set up your products and funnels, so that you can increase your sales with the same amount of traffic. The next thing we learn from this book is how to communicate with your customers and what words to use so that they automatically step up on your value ladder and purchase a more expensive product from you. The next thing we are going to learn about 7 core types of funnels. Which funnel to use for which business and which script to use. Funnels are not a new thing, this exists in the offline business for a long time. For example, if you saw an ad in the newspaper which says call this number for a free report, and when you make a call they will deliver the free report in the parcel. But if you see carefully it was a sales letter in the form of a free report, which will pitch you to buy their cheap product. And when you buy their cheap product, they will convince you to buy their expensive product. So funnels are not new in the business. The same things are online now. If you visit any website, you will see a pop-up that says, enter your email for a free report, free PDF or something similar. And when you put your email, it will show you an offer which is a cheap offer. And when you buy the cheap offer, they will pitch their expensive offer. This is how online sales funnels work. Things are the same, the process is the same but the medium is different. Direct mail replaced by email, networking is replaced by social media, TV is replaced by YouTube, radio is replaced by podcast, newspapers are replaced by websites and blogs. Secret number one. The secret formula. The secret formula consists of four simple questions. If you want to start your online business you have to answer these four questions. Once you answer these questions your work in the future will become easier. And when you design your sales funnel your actions will be laser focused. So the first question you have to ask yourself is. Who is your dream client? What did your ideal customer look like? What are they passionate about? What are their hobbies? What in their psychology? Which TV shows they watch? And what they like to shop for? You have to take note of these things to know who is your ideal client. Many people, when they make their customer avatar, they focus on demographics like their age, salary, location, and how many kids they have. But you not only have to understand their demographic, but also their psychographics. You have to walk in their shoes to understand their passion, desires, goals, and ambitions. The second question of the secret formula is, where can you find your dream client online? You need to know where your dream client spends time online, are they on Facebook or Instagram? Maybe they are the younger generation and spend more time on Snapchat. Which blog post they read, what kind of videos did they watch? You need to know all this to find out where your dream client spends most of the time online. Now the third question of the secret formula is, what bait can you use to attract them? The bait is referred to as the service that you can give them for free or cheap. Service that you can give your client to get their attention. It can be a free PDF, a free course, or maybe a free book. Same as the dot-com secret book, which is free to get our attention to the click funnels. And the fourth question is, what results do you want to give them? It does not matter what your business, do not look at your business like a product or service provider, consider what results you can give to your dream client. Imagine your dream client is ready to pay you thousands, even millions, so what result can you give them in return? You need to understand how you can take them from point A to point B. That's it, this is the secret formula. You need to ask these four questions to yourself. Who is your dream client? Where can you find them? What bait will you use to attract them? What results do you want to give them? Secret number two, the value ladder. Let's take an example of a dentist. The consumer comes in for a routine tooth cleaning. Then the dental practitioner says that your teeth could be lightened a bit. So he then upsells you on teeth whitening. 
And after the bleaching, he upsells the retainer by stating that you might take advantage of making use of a retainer. And lastly, the dentist says that you can take advantage of cosmetic dentistry. You went to the dentist just for a checkup and he pitched his expensive services. With each step up the ladder, the price goes up and up. Think about your company and see what you can include in your value ladder. And what is the most expensive service you want to provide to your dream client? In the value ladder, you will have only your dream client to whom you can give more value. But you say, I want more people to buy my expensive services, just by saying give me $10,000, and I will give you my best service. But why people buy from you when you have not given them any value to gain their trust? You need to design a value ladder, you need to give some value to clients as per their budget. If they like the value you provided, they will automatically buy more service from you. No matter what business you have, you need to have a value ladder. Now if you ask me, how can I build a value ladder for my business? Every business has a value ladder. If you need more details on the value ladder, particularly for your business, .com secret book have more details for that. You can have this value ladder as high as you want, there are no limits, you can offer an as expensive product as you want. Not most people will buy your product, but some people will always buy your next big product. So you need to design a value ladder and put all the valuable products or service that you want to give and charge accordingly. And only your dream client will buy your most expensive product. Secret number three. From a ladder to a funnel. In secret number three is to understand the connection between your value ladder and your sales funnel and how to combine these two. In the secret formula one, we saw that. Who is your dream client? Where can you find them? What bait will you use to attract them? What results do you want to give them? And then in value ladder, we saw how we can design the ladder by using bait to attract your client and make them buy your expensive service by giving them more value. Now we will combine all that we have learned till now. Imagine a funnel. On top of it there is a cloud, this cloud represents all the potential customers. Below that cloud you see the first section is a bait, which means some of your potential customers will attract to your bait. As you noticed, the bait is similar to the first step of your value ladder. Now the people who attract to your bait, some of them will step up in your value ladder. They will be interested in your next product, the product will be expensive, but they will get more value from that product. And some percent of them will buy you the next expensive product if they find more value in your product. And few of them will buy you the most expensive product, these are your dream clients. From this, we understand the benefits of sales funnels. Customers who can afford as per their budget, in return will get some value accordingly. If they spent less, they will get some value, and if they want to spend more they will get more value. Now the second benefit of sales funnels is you can spend more to acquire your customers and still be profitable by selling high-end product to your dream clients. The business that can spend the most to acquire customers wins. If you take the example where you're running ads on Facebook ads and Google, where you spend $300 to show your ads to 100 people, and if only one person buys your $200 product, you spend $300 and earn only $200, you are losing money. Now imagine you have a sales funnel and you are losing money in the front end. But from the people buying your product, some of them buy your $300 product. At this point, you are neither in profit nor in the loss. In the process, you are spending $300 and earning $300. After this point, things start getting interesting. Now after the $300 product, you have the $1,000 product next in line. From people, you bought your $300 product may also interested in your $1,000 product. Let's assume one out of every five customer buys your $1,000 product. This $1,000 is your pure profit. Now multiply it with 100 and you will earn 100 times more. But this is not the end, you can level this up. From this customer who bought your $1,000 product may also interested in your $10,000 product, and in this step also $10,000 is your pure profit. In thousands of customers, some of them may be interested in your $10,000 product and ready to purchase it. 
That's why it's important to have a sales funnel for your business. You can not able to make profits just by doing ads, and ads are getting more and more expensive day by day. The deeper your funnel the more profit you will make. So try to design a value ladder, create a sales funnel, so you can spend more to acquire more customers. Secret number 4. How to find your dream customers. To understand this topic you need to understand what is the congregation. Congregation is the group of people who attend a particular church. In general sense gathering of people. In the online world, there are many places where your dream customers congregate. If you have a weight loss product, there are many Facebook group on that topic or there are some subreddit forum where you can target. Once you know where are your dream customers congregate, then it is easy to drive traffic to your sales funnel. To understand the congregation you need to ask three questions. The first question is, who is your target market? This is important because people are not interested in general ads, they only interested in those ads which solve their problems. So you need to make relevant ads for your dream customers. For that, you need to know their problems, passion, desires, and their goals. After knowing this you can set your messaging that is relevant to your dream customers. The second question is where is your target market congregating? You need to understand what is your target customer doing online, which Facebook group is he in? What he is purchasing on Amazon? Is he on Instagram? Which YouTube video is he watching? What Instagram page is he following? What topics is he reading on blogs? Once you know this you just need to present your offer to him. The third question you need to ask is how can you get your customer to leave the congregation and check out your funnel? You need to understand how to run ads to grab their attention and take them to your website. You have seen many viral posts where the headlines are catchy, weird, unusual, or shocking. So when you run your ads you need to consider these types of headlines. For this, we use the inquirer interrupt process. It simply means you need to generate curiosity in your customers so that they go to your website to find the answer. So the three questions are, who is your target market? Where is your target market congregating? How can you get your customer to leave the congregation and check out your funnel? Secret number five, types of traffic. Traffics are of three types. The traffic you control, the traffic you don't control, traffic you own. Your aim is to own traffic. What is the traffic you own? It can be your email list, your follower, your customers, or your subscribers. Why does it called the traffic you own? Because you don't need to do any SEO or pay for ads to get to them. There is no cost to sell to these people. And the interesting thing is the larger your list of traffic, the more you earn. Your aim is to convert any type of traffic to traffic you own. The second type of traffic is the traffic you control. This can be paid ads like Google AdWords, Facebook ads or email ads. You can control this traffic, but this traffic is not owned by you. The third traffic is the traffic you don't control. For example, someone is tagging you on Instagram, Facebook, or any other media. So your only goal, as I said, to convert the traffic you control, and traffic you don't control, to traffic you own. How can we do that? With squeeze pages. Which we cover in future videos. But for now, this is the first part summary of the dot-com secret book. In the next part, we will talk about what words to use, how to narrate your story to your customers, which email sequence to send. How to copyright, so your customers go deep into your funnel, and many more, so stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment, it helps me to make more videos for you.